Hi, Namaste, Ni Hao, Bonjour, Ciao, and Buenos Dias to everyone, wherever you are in the world. I am here from Triumph to bring a message to you all about some of our exciting new motorcycles in the Triumph range for 2023. We know we still aren't really a global player, but by including some foreign sounding greetings and pictures of far off places, we hope you will think we truly are. In this age, where we have convinced you that bigger is always better, and that you really do need all the electronic rider aids possible, because you couldn't possibly ride a motorcycle yourself, we have a whole new range of overcomplicated, overweight and underpowered motorcycles made especially to make us even richer by taking all your hard-earned wages. We have tried really hard to do as little as possible in the form of research and development because that costs money. What we have done is to make all these motorcycles as difficult to maintain as possible. We have developed a whole new range of utterly useless tribe of special tools you will have to buy at exorbitant prices before you can do any maintenance at all yourself. So we know you are much more likely to bring your motorcycles back to us for those juicy service costs. We really can't be bothered with building anything new, so in general we have just tried to rehash our existing range, built around the idea that most of you have already forgotten what we did last year anyway. First up, we have the amazing new Triumph Tiger 850 Sport. A bike to take adventure riders everywhere to their local coffee shop. We built this motorcycle so the Tiger 900 owners wouldn't feel so ripped off when we dropped the price so much. Despite the name, this bike has a whole zero cc's less than the standard Tiger 900. Yes, you heard that right, the 850 engine is exactly the same size as the 900. We just hope you don't look that deeply. This motorcycle comes in an all new cheaper version of exactly the same chassis. The Spark model produces an outrageous 85 horsepower. That is almost 10 horsepower less than its adventure bike cousin, which has exactly the same engine. So you know you can rely on our honesty when we sell you a motorcycle that has the sport name. It has no sporting heritage at all, but we hope you don't realise that. Although it produces less power, this new model also manages to use exactly the same amount of fuel as its more powerful brothers, so anyone seeking fuel economy can be assured that when buying this less powerful bike, that every tank of fuel will get you exactly the same distance as it would have if you'd bought the more powerful model. This new model would just be slower and less exciting for you on the ride there. We have done this because even though we tried to bribe all the journos and influencers with all expenses paid jollies around the globe, sales of the Tiger Adventure have been so bad and reviews so critical of the overly complex electronics that we knew we had to introduce a cheaper and less complicated version. Well, we couldn't make it less complicated, so we just built it from cheaper components instead. And don't worry, with a vital 60 plus accessories that we won't include as standard, we have worked really hard to make sure we can completely empty your wallet, even though the base bike is almost £3,000 or $4,000 cheaper than the exorbitant price we put on the 900 version. Next, and for one year only, we have the all new Triumph Speed Twin 900 Chrome Edition. This is a fantastic statement bike to top our Speed Twin 900 range. You will notice that we didn't actually include any chrome anywhere though. That would have been far too expensive and eaten into our ridiculous profit margins. You should feel very privileged to own this very special and unique motorcycle that doesn't even pretend to be anything different from the standard bike at all. This bike 
totally reinvents Triumph's modern classic range by giving the 85-year-old Speed Twin platform a new coat of paint that we had left over from 50 years ago. Next up, we have yet another all-new Triumph Bonneville, because we really are that lazy. This one is the Bonneville T120 Black Distinguished Gentleman's Ride Limited Edition. We built this motorcycle because we know our customers are gradually dying of old age and we really need to screw every last penny out of them that we can before they can no longer spend it without supervision. You will get your very own certificate of authenticity too so you can prove to all your friends in the care home that you really do own one. Next, we have the Triumph Street Triple 765 Moto 2 Edition. We couldn't be bothered to design and fit a fearing, and we certainly weren't going to make any effort to tune it, so the Moto 2 Edition still produces exactly the same 130 horsepower as the standard model did, but by putting Moto 2 in the name, and restricting the standard model very slightly, we hope you still think it can go faster. We aren't really bothered about longevity, so we use the thinner coat of paint and less powder coating. That way, we can tell you that it's lighter than the standard model without actually having to do anything. Then, we just hope you don't look far enough to see that it actually only weighs one kilo or less than two pounds lighter. We have given you ridiculously overpriced Olin suspension too, because we get it with a bigger markup than the shower system used on the standard bike. This is so you can feel better about having to pay more than £4,000 or over $5,000 more for this model, because we put some shiny gold suspension on it for you. Now, for the most tasteless showpiece of all, the brand new Triumph Rocket 3 R. The name of the all new R model of the Rocket 3 range might make you think it produces more power than the standard or GT models, but it doesn't. Despite the extra noise from the opened up exhaust pipes, it was easier and cheaper not to bother retuning the engine to make it more powerful. All our marketing states clearly how it is a whole 40 kilos or over 90 pounds lighter than something. But we are very careful not to say what. All of the models actually weigh exactly the same. They may well be 40 kilos lighter than the heavily pregnant hippo, but not much else. To put that weight into perspective, because now we aren't in the EU, we don't have to follow their pesky rules about having to release wet weights even with every last drop of oil and fluid strained, before you have even added the brake fluid, it still weighs over 300 kilos or 661 pounds. By the time you have added coolant, oil and put some fuel in the tank, it weighs about 330 kilos or about 730 pounds. That is over 90 kilos or over 200 pounds more than the equally hideous Ducati Diavel. Coincidentally, on paper at least, we have made it appear to make exactly the same maximum power as the Diavel. It just took an engine twice the size for us to manage that. With all the grace of a sumo wrestler in a swamp, this is a motorcycle built especially for the fattest middle-aged men looking for the biggest genital prosthetic they could possibly buy. We know you are going through the worst stages of your midlife crisis and we need to exploit that because this motorcycle really serves no other purpose at all. Last today and the only factually new motorcycles on this list we have the new Triumph 400s. We just didn't actually make them. They are called the Speed 400 and the Scrambler 400 because we didn't think they would sell if we called them the Slow 400 and the City Crawler 400. These motorcycles were built to try and give us at least a small presence in the Asian markets. We didn't really want to sell you these bikes in the UK, because that might eat into our Bonneville sales. Instead, we asked Bajaj to design and build them in India, 
That way, we have to pay extra tariffs to bring them back to the UK or send them to America. This means that you will pay the same as you would have paid if our own workers in the UK had made them. However, it means Bashash can sell them for us very cheaply in India, so we still make more money overall, and we don't actually have to do anything. If you want one, we have made the price much closer to the price of the Bonneville than it really should be. That way, we can do our best to convince you that you really need a bigger, more expensive bike than you actually do. The quality might not be as good, but that just gives us extra leverage to upsell the Bonnevilles to you. You do get three brand new colour schemes though, all with a big Triumph Union Jack logo, so you can continue to delude yourself. It also gives you ammunition to help you try to convince any acquaintances you might meet into thinking you are supporting the British economy. If you accept this decision, it means we can gradually try and move all our manufacturing overseas again without you even noticing, because you kicked up too much fuss last time. Oh, and by the way, even though we announced a global release in July, they aren't actually going to be available here until 2024 anyway now, so you really should buy a Bonneville from us now, at least until next year. Thank you for listening. We hope our more honest approach to consumer marketing leaves you filled with joy and anticipation about our wonderful new motorcycles. Please let us know in the comments below which of our old bikes you would like to see again in 2024. That way, we can get away with doing no development again. We will always do our best to completely ignore you and prioritize our yearly bonus payments instead. Don't forget, you can always rely on us for the most profitable credit terms and we will happily accept legacy payments via a verified life insurance policy if you are adequately covered. Anything so long as we can get our hands on as much of your money as possible before your children get it. Bye for now. We hope to see you in one of our shiny showrooms soon.